Hello, my name is Mr. Fitton, and in an attempt to engage you, I've put on a different hat. Now, right now, you're probably at the section where women got the vote, and this is huge. In the rest of the world, women don't have the vote at this time. Uh, you know, even, even Britain, who's considered very advanced, does not give the vote to women. But because of their, their, their sacrifice in war, the fact that in munitions factories, they're running the war by providing munitions, the fact that they're on the front lines as nurses, actually putting their lives at risk means women actually get the vote. Uh, before, men had said, wow, women, they don't do much. They don't really deserve a vote. Women, they're, they're kind of simple. You know, if we gave them the vote, they'd probably vote for the wrong person. Now we realize, no, women are strong. Uh, they're making significant impacts, like nursing on the front lines. Here's women with shells running around them, bullets whizzing past them, blood everywhere, and they're incredibly involved in this war effort. You've probably even seen it on some of the pictures I've drawn in places like this, that women were, uh, were, were quite impacted by this war. In 1918, they got the right to vote in all federal elections for the war effort. Uh, beforehand, it was just women related to servicemen, uh, and that was an attempt by Robert Borden in 1917 to, to find the women that were going to vote for him to make sure that, that he won the election. So it's much kind of like Stephen Harper today, or any politician for that matter. It was politically expedient to do it. It was a good thing because it would win votes. Now, Quebec is the last holdout. Uh, in 1940, women finally get the vote there. So they can vote federally in Quebec at this time uh, and you know, for, for the next 22 years, but they have to wait to vote fed provincially uh, until uh, 1940. Now, the reason is Quebec is a very, very Catholic society, a very, very traditional society, and they see women's places in the home, not out voting. You know, it's a pretty hard job to get up, vote, and think about a candidate. Uh, and in fact, uh, they find that you know the world doesn't end when women do get the vote.